Okay, so this evening I'm thinking about nooks and kindles. And I'm not really sure I understand the allure. To me, there's something so impersonal about it. Just scrolling through, trying to read it. I don't know about you, but I'm old school. I absolutely love to read. Back of the cereal box, if that's all I had. In fact, when I was little, all my mother had to do was threaten to take my book away. And I'd be putty in her hands. But I don't understand the nook and the Kindle because how can that possibly compare to an actual book? All the bo I could go blind today and I would still be able to identify every single one of my books just by smelling the spines. You know, you just, the spine of the book, the pages, the way that it feels, nothing can compare to an actual book. And I don't really understand, if I were a medical student or a PhD student and I needed a Nook or a Kindle just for my scholastic it, well then that would be one thing. But who wants to read Jane Eyre or Lolita or Oliver Twist or Lonesome Dove or White Oleander? Who wants to read any of those books that you love so much and not be able to feel the pages? Nobody ever cherished a fax. If you have a love letter to send, a Nook or a Kindle is like sending it via email. A real book, a book with a spine, a book with a history. You can tell a lot about somebody by the books that they have on their shelves. Anytime I go over to somebody's house, whether it's a date or somebody new, you can tell so much about that person by the books that they have on their shelves. What are you going to do? Pull out their Nook? Oh, wow, they like Tom Clancy and Patricia Cornwell. Nothing against those guys, but I expect people I hang out with to be a little bit more cerebral than that. My goal is to find people who are smarter than I am and hang out with them. If you're on my level, I guess I'll fool with you because there's not a simple bone and all 206 bones in my body, but you would prefer someone to be smarter than you are so they could sit around and tell you things you don't know all day. Two people can get an education off one person's tuition if you surround yourself wisely. An Algonquin table in your own life. They're everywhere. You just have to seek each other out. Okay. Well, anyway, if you have a Nook or a Kindle, I hope that you have a really, really good old original copy of all the books that you really know and treasure. Because if you don't, you're hopping on one foot through life, my friend. Think about it. Nobody ever cherished the facts.